What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying your lives to the fullest today. Today we are reviewing the 2023 GMC Yukon Denali Ultimate. Huge thank you to Felipe Portillo over at Coons Tyson Chevy Buick GMC for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular Denali Ultimate or any of the cool used car inventory that they have on their lot, I'll be sure to have Felipe's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. First, let's talk about the exterior and performance. So like I said, this is a 2023 GMC Yukon Denali Ultimate, and this particular one has been painted in my personal favorite, the $495 Midnight Blue Metallic Paint. This is literally the best paint color, in my personal opinion, that you guys can get on the Denali Ultimate. But again, that is personal opinion. But let's start over here at our headlights. So with the Denali Ultimate, you guys do get LED headlights with IntelliBeam. IntelliBeam is just a fancy way of saying automatic high beams. You guys also get LED daytime running lights, LED turn signals, and LED fog lights towards the bottom of your front bumper. You guys do get C-shaped LED daytime running lights, which is right here, and it flows through underneath the headlights. So classic C-shaped daytime running lights that you guys find on the Yukons as well as on the Sierras. And then this also doubles as your turn signal as well. But working our way to the center of the front end, this is what makes the Denali Ultimate the Denali Ultimate. So you guys do get, that guy's ripping his Porsche over there. You guys do get a Vader Chrome front grille, which looks absolutely phenomenal. And I think it looks way better than the standard like satin chrome that you guys get on the regular Denali. You guys also do get a Vader Chrome grille surround as well as huge GMC lettering at the center of the front grille, also in that Vader Chrome. So the lettering themselves are in that Vader Chrome color and then you have a chrome outline around the lettering. And then if you guys want to get the illuminated GMC bag, that is a $575 option and then it also gives you a light on your side view mirrors that write out GMC at nighttime so pretty cool and that's an option you could get or you can skip this one does not have it but underneath your M right there is where you will find your forward-facing camera the forward-facing camera goes along with the 360 degree view camera system that comes standard on the ultimate now I wanna show you guys this over here. So around your fog lights, you will find a black trim piece that is gloss black, as well as another Vader chrome trim piece, kind of like an L-shaped. Um, so you get that Vader chrome, as well as that gloss black surrounding your LED fog lights. And then you get six forward-facing sensors on the front end of the Denali Ultimate. So you get one there, one right there. That's three, four, five and six again six forward facing sensors on the front end of the denali ultimate and then right here you have another vader chrome trim piece and then if you guys were wondering about the ground clearance of the denali ultimate the denali ultimate does come with an adaptive air ride suspension so your ground clearance ranges between six to ten inches six inches in entry exit mode which is again the uh, lowest that this will go eight inches in normal mode and then ten inches in its maximum setting. I believe you have to be in four wheel drive low in order to go into your maximum ground clearance setting. Sp uh, side marker light right here. And then if you guys do not like these wheels, these are the only wheels that you guys can get on the Denali Ultimate. So they are a 22 inch machine face with gray and chrome pockets. They are also wrapped in a 275 50 Bridgestone Alenza all season tire. Give you guys a view of the tread pattern on that tire as best as I can. Now, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, you guys do get an adaptive air ride suspension, but the Ultimate also incorporates magnetic ride control. So the magnetic ride control and the adaptive air ride suspension work together to give you guys an absolutely phenomenal ride. So last week, I was actually, uh, or a couple weeks ago, I did a video with a Lincoln Navigator black label. And I gotta say that this thing definitely handles better than the Navigator did. And I also feel like this keeps up with it comfortability wise as well. So normally I would say that like Ford products ride smoother than GM products, but with the adaptive air ride with the magnetic ride control working together, this is like the best ride in a vehicle like this, honestly, that I've ever experienced. So. We're gonna continue on, but again, uh, I just wanted to point that out to you guys. This thing rides absolutely phenomenally. Now, right here is where you'll find your Vader Chrome and gloss black GMC fender vent. And that is a look at that. 
and then working our way up to our side view mirrors. You guys do get body color side view mirrors with integrated LED turn signals. These side view mirrors are heated, they're power folding, driver side auto dimming. They do get memory function. So when you guys set your memory seats, it also memorizes your exterior mirror settings as well, which is very, very nice. And then you get blind spot monitoring on the upper left hand side of your driver side mirror and on the upper right hand side of your passenger side mirror. And then you also get a camera. That camera works with your 360 degree view camera system that again comes standard on the ultimate and then a puddle light right there so let's do a little side profile of the denali ultimate looks very similar to you know any other yukon except you guys will be able to tell the ultimate because of these wheels again these are the only wheel option you can get on the ultimate and then above where you would sit in the driver's seat is where you will find a body color shark fin antenna you guys do get bright roof rails as well as bright window trim you get body color door handles with a chrome surround so the this is the chrome surround and then that's like your body color strip you also do get keyless access on all four doors so you can unlock and or lock the vehicle by pressing on that button right there that just locked the vehicle you get your chrome denali lettering on your front two doors and then you get your vader chrome body side moldings again on both sides and then all the way at the bottom you guys do get these power retractable running boards that come standard with the ultimate so when you open up the door they come down and then you close the door and they will go right back up working our way down the side of the denali ultimate opening this up is where you'll find your capless filler neck premium fuel is recommended this particular one has been optioned with the 6.2 liter v8 you guys do get two engine options to choose from with the denali ultimate you can either get the three liter duramax or the 6.2 liter v8 the 6.2 liter v8 is going to cost you more to get than the three liter duramax you have a body color roof spoiler back here with your integrated LED third brake light. I'm not sure how well the GoPro is going to pick it up, but that is where you will find your third brake light. You also do have a hidden wiper up top there. This rear glass opens up, which is very, very nice. And I'll show you guys how to do that here in a second. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm going to mention it again. If I did, you guys do get LED taillights as well as at the center of your power lift gate, you get some Vader chrome trim with your GMC lettering. Just below your M is where you'll find two cameras. So this I believe is your backup camera and then that is your rear view camera mirror camera So I'll show you guys that when we move into the interior So just remember this is your rear view camera mirror camera And then there are a couple different buttons on the lift gate of the Denali ultimate So if you press this button right here, this glass will open up So now the glass opens up. So if you guys, you know run to Home Depot and you got to get a two by six or something and it won't fit in the inside with the um, glass closed then you guys can open up this glass and then you can send that two by four or two by six um, out through the glass on your way home just so you guys can get it home or get it to the job site or whatever you're going to do with this vehicle just know that you guys can open up this upper glass and then you get your chrome yukon badging on the driver side of the lift gate and then you have your chrome denali badging on the passenger side of the lift gate you put your hand under here the power lift gate will open up this is a hands-free and a power lift gate so basically at night if you guys you know want to open up your lift gate your hands are full you guys will see a GMC written out on the ground you would put your foot right there and then the lift gate would open up on its own one thing that I think is pretty cool about the Denali ultimate and this is just a nice touch is that you get these stainless um, pieces on your floor mat so there's one it says GMC and then here is the other that's just a very very nice premium touch um, that you would really find on a cat but it's nice that it trickled down here to the Denali Ultimate. You get power up and down folding third row seats. So if I press these two buttons right here and I hold on them, the third row seats will drop. And then I can also bring up those third row seats uh, by pressing these two buttons here and the third row seats will come back up. You can drop the second row seats from back here with these two buttons here, but you cannot raise the second row seats from back here. You can only raise the third row seats. Opening this up, you have a household power power outlet and then under here you get a little bit more storage space um, but really that's about it back here and you get these two brushed aluminum plates you get a satin black bumper cover so you guys don't scratch up the paint on your bumper when you guys are loading contents into the trunk press that button and the power lift gate will go right back down a couple other things I wanted to show you guys back here is that you guys do get six rear view sensors total so you get one that's two three four five 
and six rear view sensors total back here again you guys do get another trim piece right here in vader chrome you get two reflectors you get a quad tip exhaust you get a satin black rear valence as well as i believe this is a 17 inch spare tire located under here and then if you guys were wondering about the max payload capacity the max payload capacity is 1377 pounds and then the max tow capacity as the way that this particular yukon denali ultimate is spec is 8000 pounds so one thing I really like about the look back here at the back end of the Denali Ultimate is the quad tip exhaust. It just gives this thing a super, super sporty look. And I don't know if this is true, but I heard this or I read it online. I can't remember what happened, but I heard that GM may be testing a Denali or a Yukon with the supercharged LT4 engine. So this might potentially in the next year or so get the supercharged LT4 like you would find in the Escalade V. So that would be really, really sweet. Let me know if you guys think that's going to happen or not in the comments down below. Who knows? If it happened to the Escalade, it might happen to this. Um, so I think that would be really, really cool if it did. But let me know if you guys think that's going to happen or not in the comments down below. But let's move into performance. Pop and open that hood reveals that 6.2 liter V8 that makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. It is made into a 10-speed automatic transmission for a 0 to 60 time in 6 seconds. If you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 14 miles per gallon in the city, 18 miles per gallon on the highway for 16 miles per gallon combined with four-wheel drive. Like I mentioned earlier on in the video, there are only two engine options that you can choose from with the Denali Ultimate. You can either get the 3 liter Duramax, which is going to get phenomenal fuel economy compared to this or you can get the 6.2 liter v8 like we have here today that's going to sound better and it might give you just a little bit more well actually quite a bit more horsepower than the duramax would so if you guys want fuel economy i suggest you guys get the duramax if you guys want the sound and just the power then I suggest you guys get the 6.2 liter V8. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do that without your guys' help. Maybe by the time that this video goes up, we might have already hit 10,000 subscribers. So if that's the case, thank you guys so much. But again, if you guys are enjoying the video, thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. But let's move into the interior. All right, now moving into the interior, I wanted to show you guys a look at the key fob. I do wish that they would have wrote like ultimate on the key fob or something, made it just a little bit more special, but really at the end of the day, it's a key fob. It does not really matter, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of the different functions on the key fob. Obviously you have your unlock and your lock functions. You have your remote start function. You have this button to open up the rear glass, and then you have this button right here to open and or close your power lift gate. And obviously you also have your panic function, but I do want to show you guys what the remote start sounds like from the back end so I'm gonna start it if you guys are not happy with the sound of the 6.2 you think it's too quiet you guys can get a cat back exhaust directly from GM when you guys are specking your Denali ultimate and I believe it's like 2300 bucks or something like that but that would definitely make it sound better but like I mentioned earlier on in the video you guys do get keyless access so all you got to do is have your key fob in your pocket walk up to the vehicle push on this button right here and the vehicle will unlock when you open up the vehicle this comes down and uh, obviously you can hear the climate control screaming in here. So I'm gonna turn that off just for audio's sake. So I'm gonna turn the ventilated seat off. So just to let you guys know, when you remote start the vehicle, the interior will precondition like it just did right there. But taking a look at the interior, the Denali Ultimate only has one interior color option, and this is it. It's called Alpine Umber. So if you guys don't like this, which you'd be crazy to not like this, but I can see you know, maybe it, why you wouldn't because everybody's got their own preferences. Uh, but I think this looks absolutely phenomenal. It's like kind of like a baseball color, glove, baseball glove color. It looks absolutely sweet but taking a look at the driver's side door panel from right here all the way to the top is all leather wrapped you get some ebony leather up top this is that alpine umber leather with that beautiful stitching on it this is also nicely padded you get some more accent colored stitching aluminum door handle you got your unlock and your lock functions here are your power side view mirror controls 
Pressing on this button will power fold in your side view mirrors. This will restrict your passenger window privileges. You get automatic up and down windows in the front, but you only get automatic down windows in the back. You get two memory seat adjustment settings and you get a phone spot right here. So you can just set your phone and then you get a good amount of miscellaneous storage space at the bottom of the door panel. Now this is where like the Lincoln has definitely more storage space at the bottom of the door panel than the Denali does. One thing I wish the Denali Ultimate did have was a illuminated Denali door sill. So this is just a brushed aluminum Denali door sill. You guys can see it says Denali, but then you also do get an 18 speaker Bose Performance Series sound system with the Denali Ultimate, which sounds absolutely phenomenal. And that is the speaker surround on the driver's side door. You get the same speaker surround over there on the passenger side door. Also, with the Denali Ultimate, you guys get 16-way front seats with massager. I think that is awesome. This is what the seat controls look like, and then these are what the seats themselves look like. You guys get speakers in the headrest on both the uh, front headrest. You guys also get Ultimate, an uh, Ultimate badge just below your headrest, uh, and then just the seats look so, so nice, so, so premium and they are very, very comfortable as well. Before we get into the interior part of this video, I'm gonna move over to there where it is more shady. All right, now we're in a better spot and I'm just gonna start over here. I'm gonna go through the different buttons, the gauges and all that kind of stuff, and then we'll move into those rear seats. So I'll try to make this quick, um, so bear with me. I'm also gonna turn the climate system off again for audio's sake. So coming over here, this is your electronic parking brake. This will bring up your 360 degree view camera system instantly on the infotainment screen. This is to turn your parking sensors on or off. This is to turn the auto stop start system on or off. This is to turn traction control on or off. This is to turn hill descent control on or off. This will park, so this is like uh, active park assist 2.0. So basically you can find a spot and the vehicle will park itself for you, which is really, really cool. And then over here you have your lane keep assist button on or off. The Denali Ultimate comes standard with a 15 inch head up display system, which is displaying right here at the moment. Um, and then these are your controls. So you can either move the head up display up, you can move the head up display down, you can adjust the different info that's displayed on the head up display. So it's like lane keeping stuff. I got my speed limit sign, that's the compass, digital speedometer readout, that is like off-road stuff. Uh, and then that's just your digital speedometer readout and the speed limit sign. And then you can also adjust the brightness and or dimness of your head up display. Down here, that's four wheel drive auto, four wheel drive high, four wheel drive low, and two wheel drive high. So the Denali Ultimate does have a two speed transfer case. This dial right here is to go between your different drive modes. So you have normal mode, you have sport mode, you have off road mode, and you have your tow haul mode. So um, dependent on which drive mode you're in, the suspension will either raise, it will either firm or it will loosen. So if you're in normal mode, it's gonna be more comfortable than it would be in sport mode. When you put it in sport mode, it will firm up. And then obviously you go into your off-road mode and the vehicle will raise up because it does have that air ride suspension. And then you can also control the air ride suspension by pushing on this button right here. So you can go in between your different ride heights. So you have your increased ride height, um, as well as you have normal ground clearance, you have your entry exit ground clearance, and then if you twist it all the way to the right, that puts you into maximum ground clearance, which I believe you have to be in four wheel drive low in order to, yes you do. So I'm gonna just keep it in normal ground clearance mode. This is to dim the gauge cluster as well as your backlit buttons. This is to brighten your gauge cluster as well as your backlit buttons. This is your headlight control stock, twist it to the left, that turns automatic light control off, so basically turning your daytime running lights off, twist that on again, automatic light control is back on. So basically it will turn the lights on and off for you dependent on the daylight. And then it will always have your daytime running lights on. So twisting this over once to the right, that is daytime running lights always on. And then twisting it all the way to the right, that is headlights always on. And then pushing that button will turn your fog lights on. Push that button again, that turns fog lights off. I personally would leave it in headlights automatic. This is your integrated trailer brake controller. That is what that looks like. You get a power tilting and telescope steering wheel with the Denali Ultimate. You only get one stock on the steering wheel and this is your uh, high beam control stock. This is also your windshield wiper control stock and your turn signal stock. So let's take a listen to the turn signal. That is what the turn signal sounds like on the Denali Ultimate. 
taking a view back or you know zooming out i guess you could say this is what the steering wheel looks like so this particular denali ultimate has been optioned with the 2200 dollars super cruise hands-free driving system um so i might demonstrate that later on in the video i might not i'm not 100 percent sure yet but the here over on the left hand side of your steering wheel are your super cruise controls this is also a part of super cruise as is that right there basically reads your eyes making sure you're focusing on the road and not your phone or looking over there while the vehicle is driving itself for you. So you also do get a leather wrapped and heated steering wheel, which is very, very nice. Let's take a listen to the horn. That is what the horn sounds like on the Denali Ultimate. Then you get some faux carbon fiber looking trim right down here. And then on this side, this is to speak to the vehicle. This is to hang up on a phone call. And then these buttons right here are to control your 12.3 inch customizable digital gauge cluster. So we'll go throughout the gauge cluster now. So again, the or this scroll knob and then these two buttons here are to control your gauge cluster. So on the left-hand side of the gauge cluster, you have your speedometer. On the right-hand side of the gauge cluster, you have your RPM gauge. Right now at the center of your gauge or at the center of your speedometer, you have your compass. At the center of your RPM gauge, it lets you know what drive mode you are in, uh, as well as if you're in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive digital speedometer readout that is our fuel range that is the fuel gauge and then that is the coolant temperature gauge you guys might notice that you have your gas pump right there the gas pump is pointing to the left hand side of the vehicle that means you fill the vehicle up on the driver's side so if in any other vehicle you see that little arrow right there dependent on which side that arrow is pointing that is the side you fill the vehicle up with gas in right there that is your speed limit sign so right now the speed limit is 15 miles per hour but like i said this gauge cluster is super customizable i guess you can also see your gmc lettering right there that is illuminated but i said this is customizable so we'll go throughout that so going down one this is your drive summary you got trip one trip two you have your timer tire pressure driver assistance oil light brake pad life air filter life blank page you can go into your info page options and then your speed this is the screen that i would personally leave this vehicle on but clicking once to the right that brings you into your audio stuff one over to the right that's your compass and then that's your phone stuff and then you can go in between your different settings so you can go into your display layout right now we're in classic you can go into progressive so what's going to display now is your progressive this is what progressive looks like this is what digital looks like. Give it a second. This is now digital and then clean is basically just your speed at the center of the screen and that's just really about it. But I'm gonna go back into our display layout. I personally like progressive. I think it looks cool, but classic is pretty cool too. But I wanted to show you guys that you can adjust what's displayed here. You can adjust what's displayed here as well as down here. So you can see what's highlighted, you can adjust that. So what's highlighted in red, you can adjust. That you can adjust and then you can adjust your lower gauges as well. So if we go into lower gauges, right now this is like medium uh, amount of information. You can go into maximum information, which gives you your battery voltage, your oil pressure, fuel range etc and then you can go into your minimum which basically just gives you this stuff down here but i'm going to leave it in medium because that's what it was on and i don't want to mess with it but i'm going to go back into the screen that i would leave it on which is that screen one thing also with the denali ultimate is that you get a full leather wrap dash so this is not vinyl this is true ebony leather with some accent colored stitching in white looks very good feels very good and just gives this a very premium feel this is your hazard button what your hazards sound like you get four hvac vents on the dash you get one two three and four over there you get open poor wood grain trim which looks and feels very very premium and then one thing that's pretty cool and i'm not sure if the gopro will pick it up but you actually have like denali etched into the wood right here and right there it says denali with the absolute or the exact coordinates of denali national park or denali mountain i think that is really really cool um, but again i don't know how well the gopro will pick that up right here this is to control your transmission so push to go into park pull back to go into reverse push to go into neutral pull back to go into drive push to go into low and then you can upshift and or downshift the transmission with the buttons on the left and right side of the L button but I'm going to put it or put it back into park 
uh, because we're not going anywhere. Then you get some wood grain trim. And then just to the right of that, you have a Denali specific infotainment system. So this is a 10.2 inch infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. So. If you guys want, you guys can go take a look at my um, GMC Yukon SLT video. I'll link that right uh, in the upper right hand section of this video. But you guys can see that with the Denali and the Denali Ultimate, you guys get a specific infotainment system that looks a lot cleaner than what you would find in the uh, Yukon SLT or something like that. So I personally appreciate that. Uh, just to give you know a reason to get the Denali because it definitely looks a lot cleaner mounted in the dash rather than like an iPad screen mounted on the dash, if that makes sense. So going throughout the screen on the left hand side of the screen you have your different shortcut buttons so you have your home button audio button that's like your navigation button that will bring you into your carplay and then that is your trailer stuff i'm going to go back this is your home button again which will bring you into the gmc screen you got your audio maps phone camera so you can bring up your cameras again on screen so basically you have a redundant physical button for that over here on the driver's side Google Assistant, Play Store, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and then there's this screen, trailer and climate. You can bring your climate control on the screen. This is a Wi-Fi capable vehicle. The Denali Ultimate comes standard with the 12.6 inch rear media screens, which I'll show you guys in a minute. My GMC, you can set service appointments and then you have your podcasts and your Google News. That's the ambient exterior temperature. That is the current time. And then that is how much um, LTE signal this this vehicle has. And then all of this is all leather wrapped. So you have a nice knee pad right here that's ebony leather wrapped with some accent colored stitching. This is your volume knob, which has a nice feel to it. This is your tuning knob which same feel this is to go back on a track this is to go forward on a track this is basically your back button so let's say I go into the climate control screen but you're like hey I want to go back into that other screen I can click this back button and it will bring me back however you can also uh, go into your climate screen and then you can press this home button which will bring you back this will basically bring you back one step at a time and then that will bring you back just like back to the home screen if that makes sense Coming down, this is your climate control stack for the front. You do get a tri-zone climate control system with the Denali Ultimate. And one thing that I appreciate about the climate control system is that it actually displays the temperatures on the dials themselves, which is something that cannot be said about Ford products. Pressing on that button, that is how you turn your heated steering wheel on or off. So heated steering wheel, you get one level of adjustability. And then for your front two passenger seats, or I guess the driver and the front passenger seat, you get heated and ventilated seats, both with three levels of adjustability. But one thing that's pretty cool is that you can either heat your back and your butt with this button, or you can heat your back only by pressing on this button again, both with three levels of adjustability. And then this is your ventilated seat button with three levels of adjustability. If I push that forward, you get some more of that wood grain trim down here on your console. You get a, opening that up, you get a USB-C port, a USB-A port, and a 12 volt power outlet. The Denali Ultimate comes standard with the wireless charging pad, so that is where your wireless charging pad is. You also get two cup holders, and if you wanna close all of that, you can do that as well, just to give it a more premium, luxurious look, if that's what you're going for. But then you can open that back up, and you can use it how it is meant to be used now. This is a look at the top of your center console. One thing that's pretty cool is that come, what comes standard with the Denali Ultimate is the moving center console. So if you come up here and you push this button, this center console goes back to give easier access to your second row passengers to their cup holders, as well as if you wanna open this up, you can hide some stuff down in here if that's what you wanted to do. So if your kids, um, you know, they're bad, but you entice them to be good, so you, you know, hide candy or something down in here, so at the end of the ride, if they're good, you can give them the candy that you hid down in there. You also have a great spot you can set a phone, but you might be like, hey, well, if I move that back, they might have easier access to the HVAC controls and their cup holders, but then I lose my armrest when actually in all actuality you can slide that forward and then if that's not forward enough for you to reach the steering wheel comfortably you can move this forward just a bit more and still be comfortable here and then they still have easier access to the cup holders which is really sweet i'm going to bring this thing all the way back forward and then i'm going to open it up opening it up 
you get a little bit of storage space down in here and then you have a light an led light that shines down there for easier access into that stuff at night this is also that same alpine umber leather to match your seats it's nicely padded and you get that beautiful stitching here you get that white accent colored stitching this thing looks really really sweet again with the different colors between the wood the uh, ebony leather and the alpine umber leather i think they all match each other very nicely then opening this up you do get a lockable glove box with a decent amount of storage base you can fit your owner's manual and a couple other miscellaneous items but it's definitely not the biggest glove box that i've ever seen you get some storage space down here so you can see where i'm at this is the steering wheel you get some storage space right there and i believe the same thing goes for on the passenger side with some storage space down under there as well the dry or the passenger side door panel looks pretty much the exact same as what you would find on the driver's side now like i mentioned when we were at the rear end i said remember what camera i was pointing out that is the rear view camera mirror camera this is the rear view camera mirror so the denali ultimate comes standard with the rear view camera mirror which is Personally, I really like it. I think it works very, very well, and it kind of rids the Ultimate or the Denali or the Yukon, I guess you could say, of its blind spots. So this is also very configurable. So if you press this button right here, that will bring you into this screen. So you can brighten and or dim it dependent on you know your preference. Come into here, you can zoom out. You can zoom in, again, depending on your preference. And then click that one more time, you can move it down you can move it up again to your personal preference but let's say hey you know you bought yourself a denali ultimate but you're like i cannot stand the rear view camera mirror if you absolutely can't stand the rear view camera mirror you can flip this thing forward and now it's just going to behave like a regular rear auto dimming rear view mirror would so now it's just a regular auto dimming rear view mirror again flip that forward and then the rear view camera mirror comes back i like the rear view camera mirror so that's how i'm going to leave it this is your on star stuff that it lets you know if your passenger airbag is on or off. The Denali Ultimate comes standard with a panoramic roof. So this, this, and this are all to control your panel roof and shade. So this is your shade. So if I push up on that, the shade will open up. I'm not gonna do it because the sun is shining and I'm already sweating. But this is to slide the sunroof back like this. This over here is to tilt the sunroof up like that. So you can, it's a tilting sunroof and it's also a sliding sunroof. And then this is to control your uh, center armrest to move it back and forward. Again, these are the controls for that. This is to open up or close your power lift gate and then you can open the lift gate all the way up or you can open it up three quarters of the way or you can turn the power lift gate off if that's what you wanted to do. So flip it all the way to the left, that's max. That's three quarter and then all the way to the right is off. These controls are for your third row seat. So you can drop and raise them. Then you have your universal garage door opener with three different garage bays. So let's say you have a house, you have three different garage bays. You can open up those three different garage bays individually with these three buttons. This is for like the security system in here. So I believe if like it senses any movement on the interior, the alarm will go off. Let's say if you leave your windows down, that is something that's also found in like a Lamborghini Aventador, which is kind of funny. Get your driver light, get your passenger light. They are both LED. And then this is your Bluetooth mic pickup for your Bluetooth phone. And then you get one of those over on this side as well. You get a little clip right here for money, registration, or any small paper product. When opening this up, you get a vanity mirror with two vanity lights. And then this also slides forward and backwards. Very, very nice for when the sun is in those uh, annoying situations like right here. You can slide it back and then you have no problem. Opu handle for the driver. Passenger also gets an Opu panel and then the visor on the passenger side looks the same as what it does here on the driver side. Now there are a couple things I wanted to go over, um, a couple different things that come standard with the Ultimate, which I already went over a couple of these, but I'm just gonna reiterate. So you do get 16 way power front seats with massaging functions. You also get the open pour wood trim with the Denali Mountain etched into the dash, which is really cool. You get an 18 speaker Bose Performance Series sound system, which sounds phenomenal nominal way better than the rebel found in the lincoln navigator black label also you get a 12.6 inch rear seat media system which i'll show you guys in a minute panoramic sunroof 360 degree view camera system the head-up display the rear view camera mirror wireless charging pad the power sliding center console heated and ventilated front seats you get the heated steering wheel you also get the heated outboard second row seats and this is a wi-fi capable vehicle couple of the different there are only three options on this vehicle first being the 495 dollars paint color 
the $2,200 Super Cruise hands-free driving, the $905 three-year OnStar in connected services, and the $50 trailer tire pressure monitoring sensors. If you guys were wondering about how to turn the massaging seats on because I just realized that I skimmed over that, you come over here and I'll show you guys a better view of that. If you flip this forward like that, that will pop this up on the screen. Give it a second. You can go in between your massage stuff and then you can adjust what you want between these buttons here. So you can move down between different stuff and then you can uh, select the intensity. So you have three different intensity settings. So these are the intensity buttons. And then this is, sorry for that other abrupt edit. Um, my camera overheated again. It's never overheated twice in a video. So it's really not even that hot outside. So I don't know why it overheated twice. But anyway, this is how you control the massaging seats. So uh, that's really about it. I do want to pull up the window sticker. So I'm going to put that on screen now. All right, with the window sticker on screen, you guys can take a look at the different safety and security stuff that comes standard with the Ultimate. You guys can go through all those different things, uh, as well as all the different standard stuff that you guys get with the Ultimate warranty stuff, et cetera, government five-star safety ratings. But basically what I'm gonna highlight is the MSRP. So the MSRP of the way that this particular Yukon Denali Ultimate is spec is $99,195. And personally, for what you get, I know that is a lot of money. Trust me, I know that is a lot of money, but I was just in a Lincoln Navigator black label the other day, and that was sticker price was $116,000. That is a crap ton of money. Um, so I think this is a bargain for really for what you get, because this is just as nice, at, in my opinion, as that uh, Navigator black label. If you guys want to spend another twenty, thirty thousand dollars on getting the Escalade Sport, you can do that. But if you guys are looking to spend about a hundred grand on a really, really nice family hauler that can haul your boat, haul your side by sides, etc., I would say this is honestly the value. Um, you know, between luxury and price, I think this is the ultimate value because this is way nicer than a Suburban. It's pretty dang nice. I mean, it's not as quite quite as nice as an Escalade, but really at the end of the day, how much nicer do you need it to be? It looks fantastic from the outside. You get your massaging seats and pretty much every option, Super Cruise, etc. So I personally, for one, think you don't really need any more than this. But if you guys have the dough and you want an Escalade or an Escalade B or something like that, I mean, obviously those are nicer and, uh, but again, this is plenty nice for those of you guys who want a really nice big family SUV. I think this is plenty for those uh, of you guys who want to spend a hundred grand, but same kind of door panel that you would find in the front on the rear. You guys can see you get one extra speaker on the rear door. Again, you only get automatic down windows in the back. And then you also have your unlock and your lock functions for your second row passengers. So let's say you're the dad, you walk into the store, uh, the kid can lock the vehicle while you're in the store. And then when they see you walking back out, they can press that unlock button and let you back into the vehicle. Um, so at least they're safe while you're in the store. You get a great spot. You can set a phone and then you get good amount of miscellaneous storage space at the bottom of the door panel. However, I think this is less storage space than uh, what you would find in like the Navigator, for example, or the Expedition. But taking a look at the door sill, you get another Denali door sill. And then this is what your second row seats look like from the door. So let's step into the interior and let's see what the interior has to offer. So these are your 12.6 inch rear seat media screens. So you get your Hulu, YouTube, YouTube Kids, HDMI 1 and HDMI 2. So hypothetically, you could connect a PlayStation or an Xbox to these screens because you have your HDMI cord thing right there. And then you also get a household power outlet down there that has enough juice to power your Xbox or your PlayStation. So these are really cool and they are also also touch screen so very very sweet and I believe they also come with headphones so opening this up you get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat you guys can see it's kind of has like this cool pattern to it same thing on this side as well it's all leather so it's you know these kinds of touches are what make the Denali ultimate the Denali ultimate I mean literally seat back pockets that are leather really really cool you get two H or two cup holders this is what your HVAC system looks like back here. That's the little screen. You can turn that on or off. Flipping it all the way to the left, turns it back off. 
temperature controls. You get heated outboard second row seats, both with three levels of adjustability. You get two USB-C ports, two HDMI ports, and your household power outlet located down here. I am adjusted behind myself. I'm actually um, further back than I normally would be like driving this vehicle. I'm five foot nine. I've got plenty of leg room, plenty of knee room, and plenty of headroom. If this is like too vertical for me, I can recline these seats and now I am ultra, ultra comfortable. You guys can see super, super comfortable here in these second row seats, but I can also bring uh, this seat back up if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, this is what these seats look like. Now I'm gonna move into the third row seat and let's see how comfortable it is here in the third row. So sitting behind myself, I actually still have a little bit of leg room or knee room, excuse me. So actually more space than I thought back here. Quite a bit of headroom still left. Again, I'm five foot nine. Over here, you have a USB-C port and a cup holder and some miscellaneous storage. And then on this side, another USB-C port, a cup holder and some miscellaneous storage. One thing I wanted to mention is that the Navigator definitely had more storage space back here, like stuff for cup holders and just crap um so if you guys are looking for storage space you're probably going to want to look at an expedition or a navigator if you guys are looking for just quality fit and finish beautiful leather great sound system great handling vehicle the denali ultimate is the vehicle for you I, I would say that the denali ultimate definitely has more comfortable seats than you find in like a tahoe or a yukon slt but the lincolns and the fords still have the most comfortable seats but you know we've talked a lot about the exterior we've talked about the performance and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the denali ultimate so i want to see what this thing's like to drive as i'm assuming you guys do as well so I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, guys, and now into the driving portion of the review. And honestly, driving the Denali Ultimate is the ultimate experience. I was just like really testing the audio system to see how good it really was. And I have to say, it is really, really good. And this is something that I always say in all of my GM videos, whether it be with the Tahoe, Suburban, Yukon, Yukon XL, um sierras uh you know etc comparing them to ford gm has definitely got the audio system game down i mean ford they really need to step their game up because the bose sound systems in gm vehicles whether it be a silverado or this yukon denali ultimate with the performance series sound system they all sound so much better than either you know the bang and Olufsen sound system that you guys get in like the loaded up platinum expedition and better than the Revel audio system that you guys get with the um, Lincoln Navigator. Now, just because you have more speakers does not mean that your sound system is better. So I believe the Lincoln's Revel Audio Ultima system has like 28 speakers, I believe it is. This has 10 less speakers and it sounds 10 times better. I mean, literally Bose just, they know how to make a sound system sound really, really good. I mean. We know that, right, I guess, because the Bose sound system is just, it's so much better than what you find in the Lincolns and in the Ford products. I mean, it really, really is. Um, so I got to say, sound system is great. The interior fit and finish, the feel of this leather is, the leather is super supple, super soft, super comfortable. And I think that they actually made the Denali Ultimate seats more comfortable than just the regular Yukon seats. That could totally be placebo, but I feel like that is fact. I mean, it, it, they're just super, super comfortable seats. Um, and I'm definitely a fan of the seat comfortability here in the Denali Ultimate. So I'm gonna wait for this light to turn green before I continue on with my thoughts. Um, but so far, this thing has definitely exceeded my expectations for sure. Super comfortable. Sound system is great. And uh, I guess maybe I won't stop talking, but I just wanted to say that the suspension in this, between the magnetic ride control and the adaptive air ride suspension, this is the best in the game. I mean, Ford has some really, really comfortable um, suspensions. But I gotta say that this is comfortable, but it also handles very, very well. Um, so GM, not only do they have their sound system game down packed, they also have their suspension game down packed. All right, let's see what the acceleration is like in the Denali Ultimate. With the 6.2,
with the 6.2, it has plenty of get up and go. Now, one thing I wanted to say is that the EcoBoost found in the Navigator slash Expedition definitely have more power. I mean, definitely more power. I believe like the Navigator has like 510 pound-feet of torque, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, that is quite a bit of horsepower. That is quite a bit of torque. It makes like 440 horsepower, I believe, also in the Navigator. Um, so it's making, you know, a considerable amount more power. Um, but I always love the sound of a good old V8. I mean, the V8s just sound so, so good. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the drive on this is great. Um, if you guys are looking to get better fuel economy, you guys are probably going to want to consider getting the 3 liter Duramax. I mean, you're definitely going to get better fuel economy in that than you're going to get in this. But, you know, this is going to have more top end power. This is going to sound better. Um, so really, it comes down to, you know, what you want in a vehicle. What are you looking for? Um, you know, do you want the sound? Do you want the fuel economy? If you want the fuel economy, you're going to want to get the Duramax. If you want the sound and you just want a good old fashioned push rod V8, then you're going to want to get the 6.2 liter. But really, I don't think you can go wrong. I think both sound system or both, excuse me, both engines are very good options. Uh, but again, it's just dependent on what you want. You know, you're going to have to pay a little bit more for, I think, diesel fuel. Actually, I don't know because diesel and premium are kind of on par with each other uh, price wise, like per gallon. So again, it kind of just depends on, you know, what you want uh, when it comes to either a gas motor or a diesel powered motor. So overall, man, this thing rides super, super well. The uh, transmission is great. You know, this and the Navigator, they both have the 10 speed that was uh, co-made between Ford and GM. So I don't know. I got to say that if I were to get a three row SUV, it would probably be a Denali Ultimate. Now, the only, unless I was like really rolling in dough and I really, really made like a lot of money, like if I made a lot of money, I would probably get the Escalade just because I love the way that the new Escalade sports look. But, you know, if I didn't want to quite spend Escalade money, but I almost wanted like Escalade, Escalade level interior in ride, then I would definitely take a very close look at the Denali Ultimate. But as soon as this light turns green, we're gonna get on, uh, hop on this exit and we're gonna see how well the 6.2 accelerates. All right, we got a green light. I'm just gonna leave it in normal mode because I think if you guys are doing an on-ramp acceleration yourselves, you guys are probably gonna be leaving it in normal mode uh, unless you guys are always driving around in sport. But by the way, man, this thing handles so well for what it is, floored. trash on the road but man this thing can do those kinds of maneuvers because it's just got such a good suspension this suspension honestly i feel like i could do you know high speed maneuvers if it like absolutely came down to it like if i needed to avoid something in the roadway i don't feel like i would like flip it doesn't feel like top heavy you know sometimes you get in a vehicle like this like a three row big suv and they kind of like are top heavy a little bit like when you hit a bump it kind of like goes like that i don't know how to describe it um this does not do that so this has the mag ride and here i'll, I'll be quiet here for a sec So as you guys saw, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of time to hear what it sounds like at highway speed. So very, very well insulated from the outside world. I know people are going to be like, oh man, this has 22 inch wheels. It probably rides like garbage. Uh, no, it doesn't. You know, the new suspensions uh, that they have out today, you can put like huge wheels on a car and they still ride like the Rolls Royce Cullinan has like 22 or 24 inch wheels and that thing rides like nothing else. So uh, the big wheel argument and bad ride uh, I think is inundated and outdated but do a little acceleration here this bridge coming up has like so many potholes and we're gonna see how well the Denali ultimate can take the potholes let's see very well initially just soaks them right up man this suspension is awesome 
really really good suspension and again i always say this in every video that i do with a gm vehicle um they all the suspensions are just some of the best if not the best in the business i mean to make a vehicle like this handle so well remains so flat around turns um it's just pretty incredible to be honest so if you guys want the more comfortable riding vehicle you guys are looking at an expedition or a lincoln uh like seating wise and just like suspension wise on the highway i think those are going to ride just a little bit smoother but if you guys want something that's going to handle and still be very smooth on a back road on the highway then you guys are going to want to get the yukon platform vehicle so overall man this is a phenomenal riding vehicle phenomenal driving vehicle seats are super comfortable i'm getting a massage as we speak um so overall i have really enjoyed my time behind the wheel of the yukon denali ultimate if you guys are interested in this particular one i'll have felipe's information in the description box down below but that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I mentioned, I'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do that without your guys' help. Maybe by the time this video goes up, we will have already eclipsed 10,000 subscribers, which if that is the case, thank you guys so much. But you know, now we're on to 20,000 if that is the case. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But again, that's it for today's video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.